race for Illinois governor may be several months away, but there are signs tonight campaign season may already be here with Governor Rauner unveiling his first ads. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely takes a look at a battle brewing over money. Our plan brings real reforms to Illinois. 18 months before the next statewide general election, Governor Rounder's new TV spots look like he's in full campaign mode. We will fix Illinois together. Ads that debuted as state controller Susanna Mendoza blasted Rauner for allegedly calling his budget proposal balanced, even though it has a $5 billion hole. The last time I heard somebody be able to lie that easily was when I worked with Governor Bogoyevich, and it didn't work out too well for him. Mendoza charging at a Southside senior citizen's home. She can't pay $235 million in back bills, mostly for home health care, because she doesn't have the legal authority without a budget. I'm not critiquing the governor because he's a Republican. I'm critiquing the governor because he's the worst governor that's ever served the state. Bud Mendoza's predecessor charged her with mismanaging scarce funds. A lot of the actions she's taking that are making it harder for human services to stay open uh, certainly causes more of a crisis in the government. And a crisis uh, you know, it makes it look bad for the governor. And Rounders leader in the Illinois House insists it's not the governor's job alone to pass a balanced budget. They've got to find the balance that's going to, re that's going to uh, earn the governor's signature. And I think we all know what it means. It means a little bit. It's going to be some reforms. It's going to be cuts. And there's going to be the ultimate revenue issue. Ah, yes, the revenue issue. In other words, a tax hike. That's what a lot of this budget stalemate is all about. Both sides know one is needed, along with budget cuts, but neither side wants to get blamed for the pain. So each attacks the other for lack of a balanced budget, while the state sinks further into red ink. By the way, Jim Durkin said the aim of those ads is to really spark an uprising among voters to demand a budget deal from Springfield. But they look very similar to when Governor Bruce Rauner campaigned before, even down to uh, his attire. Yeah, the, the plaid shirt. Uh, uh, in fact, Susanna Mendoza, Mendoza said he looks like Bob the Builder, but he hasn't built anything that's good for Illinois. That was her snarky remark. But yes, the governor likes to, the flannel shirts. He likes to drop the G's, even though he's got the, the Dartmouth education. That's his way of identifying with the common man. And we're still almost a year out from the primary, yet we're seeing these campaign ads. Yeah, well, they're not technically campaign ads. Okay. Again, they were funded by an outside organization, but they have a lot of the look and the feel mm -hmm. of campaign ads. And after all, the governor has donated $50 million to his campaign back in December. So I think it's fair to say uh, uh, campaign mode has arrived. Okay, Derek, thank you.